All that's happened so far is I've been in earlier on, I've met the whole class in this group, half of them are boys and half of them are girls. We made sure we had the gender balance. I picked somebody and uh, the teacher picked somebody and then the other children picked the rest. We had quite a lot of volunteers actually. Probably about 80% of the children stood up and wanted to volunteer. So they, they know this, okay, um, in the room here. This is the first meeting. You might be able to do it better than I'm doing it, okay? So don't, don't be too picky about what I'm doing. Uh, but this is my go at it. Okay, right, you ready for this? So, so welcome everybody uh, to James's first Circle Friends meeting. You, you know what's going on, James, it's what we talked about before. Uh, it's, um, what you need to know is I've just been in the class talking to everybody and they, when I said who wanted to volunteer to be part of James's Circle, a lot of people put their hands up, didn't they? It's true, isn't it? A lot of people, not just a few, a lot of people. And I'm just going to ask them to tell you why they volunteered. You okay with that? Okay, so just uh, pass this lovely key around. Who, are you happy to go first? Yes, so just, just tell James why you volunteered. My brother gets very cross like you, and I want to be able to help him as well as helping you, James. Okay, so you're here because you're thinking a bit about your brother, really. Yeah. I think you're a nice person, and I like it when you make me laugh because you're fun. I can see when you get upset on the playground when you're playing football, and I don't like people being sad, so I want to help you not be sad. And do you want to say, James, why you're here? You could just say you were sent. I was <laughs> sent. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. You didn't really have a choice at all. <laughs> anyway, good to see you. Now, one of the things we asked about, I asked the, the whole class, was where do things go well for James? Can you guess what they would have said? Home Places. time. Home time. Uh, play time, mm, not so much, not maybe not. Sure. I don't think there were very many to You do, there'd be many. So if, if you don't mind, I'm just going to ask them to tell you. Sure. Are you okay with that? So, um, uh, okay, so who like Should we go around? Um, you're really good at running, uh, really good at sport and um, I like being on your team because you really encourage everybody. I think you're good at sharing. I didn't have a ruler the other day and you let me use yours. You're good at problem solving. When we have to do those horrid things that I can never do solving problems, you always know that you always do that out of the box thinking to know how to get the answers. Thank you, Alice, for good things there. Mr. Smith, did you get those? Mr. Smith's the class teacher who's in the room. We'll ask him to take some notes. To be fair enough, we have to say that sometimes things don't go so well. Um, you'd agree, I guess, with you, James. Sometimes things go so well. Um, I did ask the class about times when things didn't go so well. Um, can you guess what they said? Uh, lunch times, football. Lunch times, football. Yeah, coming in in the morning. Coming in the morning. Programs. Are you happy about hearing a couple more things from yes. the group? Okay, I'm just going to give them this squidgy thing to hold. So, we're not going to go around on this one, but maybe just a couple of times when things don't go so well. Yep. When we get a change, change of teacher and James hasn't had a pre-warning, if they're off sick rather than being on a course, and then it can throw him when he first comes in the morning. Um, although you're really good at sport, you don't like losing. So uh, when, you, when you lose, I can tell you get really hot inside and seem to bubble and get angry about it. So, well, today we've got together this really creative team. Um, who are going to come up with some ideas, aren't you? As to help James get back on track with his behaviour. Help him with, you know, making friends, keeping friends, but particularly buzzy ideas around these things that to work on, okay? So, and these are not ideas for adults, these are things you can do. Okay, so what ideas have you got? Who's going to go first? Maybe we could go to the library or something so that Jack, oh, sorry. Yeah, take the key. That maybe then we're not, he's not hanging around in the cloakroom with everybody else coming in, but he could get his coat and we could go in together later on when everybody's gone in. Yeah. Who would you need to get the agreement from to get the idea to happen? Probably from the class teacher. From, from Mr Smith here. Yeah, and also making if James's mum brings him in or whoever brings him to school. Next idea. What else have you got? Um, oh, Sam. No, you're, you don't like English very much and it makes you really stressed. Is it possible for maybe at some point for us to talk about why English makes you stressed? And maybe then together we could talk to the teacher about doing something to make English a bit better for you, a bit easier. Next time we play football, should we have one person we say is referee and we'll just listen to them? Because last time there's lots of argues with the rules. So now you're going to be meeting in this room once a week. 
okay? You, you are the team. Um, bring your lunches with you, okay? So you can have your, have your lunch at the same time. Um, is that going to be right? You'll be meeting with Mr. Smith, actually, not me, but I'm going to come back in about, uh, by half, at the end of half term, to see how all this is going. We will need a name for the circle, but it doesn't really want to be called James's Circle. It doesn't really want to be called Circle of Friends. It needs another name. James has the final pick, obviously. Any good ideas about a name? Football team. Yeah, the football team. Tottenham Hotspurs. Tottenham. Oh, yeah. The Hotspots. The Hotspots. Oh, the Hotspots. <laughs> the Hotspots. <laughs> the Hotspots you are. It's just Thank about wacky man. enough. We'll take that. <laughs> The final thing we like to do after the first meeting is ask, ask the young people, how did you feel about this being part of this first meeting with James? How did it feel being part of it? So I'm just going to pass the stick round. Positive. It's good to have lots of friends. It's good to have some practical ways forward, so next steps. I think we all had fun. James, what's your last word? Just that I feel a lot safer in school, a lot more supported, and I feel like there's more the consideration of my needs. Mm. Very articulate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> very articulate young man. And can we, That's I think, because it was the very first meeting, I think we should give James a clap, don't you, because he did very well. <laughs> can you just remind yourself who you really are? James? I'm Michael. Michael, you are. <laughs> Let James go. Look at that.